Hey everyone, welcome back to Mainframe Tech Videos. We are thrilled to have you here for today's XML Pass video. In this video, we will discuss about XML Pass Overview Syntax Statement XML Events XML Text Sample XML Workflow Sample COBOL program Execution of COBOL program XML Pass Overview COBOL provides an event-based interface that lets us pass XML documents and transform them to COBOL data structures. The XML parser finds fragments within the source XML document and our processing procedure acts on those fragments. Each fragments are associated with XML events. We code the processing procedure to handle each XML event. Execution of the XML pass statement begins the parsing and establishes the processing procedure with the parser. The parser transfers control to the processing procedure for each XML event that it detects while processing the document. After processing the event, the processing procedure automatically returns control to the parser. Each normal return from the processing procedure causes the parser to continue analyzing the XML document to report the next event. It is important to note that throughout this operation, control passes back and forth between the parser and the processing procedure. Have a look at the XML pass syntax. Please note not all the statements are mandatory. Processing procedure is a must statement. The XML parser has to compiler option. XML SS. XML Compact. We have listed the advantage of using the XML SS compiler option. It is recommended to use this compiler option. XML events. As discussed earlier, each fragments within XML document are associated with a XML event. The XML start tag is associated with the start of document event. Version is associated with version information event. Each element start tag is associated with Start of element event. The content present after each element start tag is associated with content characters event. If the content is a single character, then the associated event is content character. If XML document contains attributes, the attribute name will be associated with attribute name event. And its value will be associated with attribute characters. If the attribute value is of single character, then the associated event is attribute character. XML text For every event, the XML text will contain the display value of the event. In simple words, if we have an element start tag, the XML event will be start of element, and the XML text will be the name of the XML tag. We have listed few examples for our reference. Sample XML Our first sample XML is of food. We will be denoting it as food XML in this video. Our next sample XML is of book. We will be denoting it as book XML. Workflow we have denoted a sample workflow for a better understanding of XML pass operation. Each fragments will trigger the event. The name tag will start the event start of element. We will move the XML text of this event to a working storage variable. The content following the element start tag will trigger the content characters event. We will evaluate the working storage variable. If the value of working storage variable is name, then we will move the content characters event XML text to equivalent COBOL copybook variable for name. 
Here is the COBOL code for the XML parse statement. This is the complete code for the food XML processing procedure. This is the complete code for the book XML processing procedure. Let us view the COBOL program for parsing sample XML. Notice that we are using XML SS compiler parser option. In the working storage section, we have declared all the XML tag names as constant, starting from the food name, price, description, calories. Similarly, we have declared for book tags like ID, author, title, genre, price, publish date, description. We have also declared all the possible XML events as constants. We will match these events against XML parser events and map the corresponding values to COBOL variable. Our XML parse statement is a simple statement, but the logic to segregate data is coded in the processing procedure para. In the processing para, we will evaluate each XML event. And if you remember our XML generation video, we have notified you to remember the tag names. If you haven't checked out the video, please check it out first. When the event is triggered for start of element, we will move the element value to a working storage variable. When its corresponding content characters event is triggered, we will map the content value to respective COBOL variable. If the input file had code 0, 01, we will consider it as food XML and 0 to for book XML. Let us check the food XML evaluate statement after the start of element event is triggered. We will have the element name in the working storage variable. Once the content character event is triggered and element value is named, then the corresponding content is moved to food name COBOL variable. Like this, we correlate the element value for price, description, calories, and move its values to COBOL variable for food. Every time the end of element event is triggered, we will initialize our element name. Similarly, we will pass the book XML tags event by event. For example, when the event attribute name is triggered, we will move the attribute character content to COBOL book variable for ID. Once all the events are processed, an end of document is reached, we will write our COBOL copybook to output file. When the start of element event is triggered, we will move the element text to working storage variable. Similarly, we are move the food name when the content text is name. Let us submit our compile, link edit JCL and check the output. The job is submitted now. And we have got maximum return code as zero. Let us check our output in file manager. We will first check for food XML output.
As we can see we have passed the input XML and got our desired output. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you found this content helpful and informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.